We're gonna tell you how to rank your vlogs in search and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Today I'm here with Benji Travis. Benji has been vlogging on YouTube for seven years. He has yeah. a family vlog. Um, his wife has a vlog yep. as well. Yep. Um, and he's also behind Video Influencers. Him and yep. Sean Cannell run Video Influencers together. And we're gonna talk to you today about tips and tricks that he yeah. uses to make sure that his vlogs rank in search. Benji, first, how's it going? So happy to have you on oh, the channel. Honored, you know, I've been watching your videos for a while now and i um, very happy to be sharing what I know about vlogging with you guys. So in terms of, of vlogging, for yep. the people that are watching this yep. that are vloggers, what are some key factors from all the experiences yes. that you have, all the tons of videos that you have online, yep. what are some key things that they need to keep in mind when it comes to ranking their videos? For sure, and you know, I love vlogging. We wouldn't recommend it for everybody because it's an uphill battle. And and let's uh, bring it back to some history of vloggers. You know, a lot of vloggers became famous because they were doing something else. My wife, for example, she was doing beauty, she was doing hair videos, she gained an audience that wanted to see more behind the scenes, like extended versions of the videos she was putting up on her beauty channel. Started the vlog, and that's when we started in 2010, 2011, and that is the origin story of vlogs for most creators. Casey Neistat was doing like small viral type of hits, right? Then started daily vlogging, right? There's a lot of vloggers that have stories like that. So. People that just start vlogging and want to get famous from it, it's very difficult if you don't have an audience that wants to see what you're doing in the morning, sure, right? Sure. You brushing your teeth or what you're eating. So that's the first thing I want to say. Secondly, I do understand there are vloggers now that are just making it big as vloggers, but it's a small percentage, right? When we talk about the success rate of just YouTubers in general, it's very small, but yes. vlogging, it's even smaller. So with that being said, this is what I would suggest for people that want to start vlogging, right? They want to be a daily vlogger, more casual, more like real life kind of stuff, is you still want to pick a topic or a passion, right? Or something that you're an expert on. For example, I love food. So mm. if I was to start a uh, vlogging channel, I would want to, to revolve around my love for food. Now, not every single thing would be around food, but when I start, it'd be very isolated to things I'm passionate about. For example, right, say there was a garlic festival in California, I think somewhere there's a garlic festival. Okay. I would go and vlog my day at the garlic festival, but I wouldn't start the vlog in the morning when I'm getting ready. I would start the vlog right at the entrance of the garlic mm, festival, nice. right? I would talk about the, my love for garlic, I would talk about the garlic festival, and I would talk about all the different foods and showing me eating it. How I would rank it is around that garlic festival, mm. right? So that is like the topic that could rank for other people interested in garlic festivals, right? Now, let me ask you this. A lot of vloggers, you know, from some of the questions that I get, a lot of vloggers yep. are, you know, they're wanting to rank for these like, you know, crazy terms, uh, but yeah, it's yeah. okay to rank for local events. Right? Absolutely, and the local events is just a start. You could, uh, you could rank for garlic, right? Maybe you just love garlic and you're doing like a recipe. So I used to do recipe videos, which is obvious. I'm doing the video to teach you a recipe, but you could do it in a vlog style, again, it's gonna be a small audience at first, right? The audience I'm trying to build isn't garlic lovers, it's food lovers, mm, right? Nice. And the, yeah. the, the world around foodies and people going to restaurants and you know, like ranking different uh, types of meals, it's, it's actually pretty amazing and it's huge. But even if you feel just isolated to people just like looking for restaurant tips, right? You grow an audience there as a vlogger specifically for restaurants or festivals or garlic and then you move out. The mistake that a lot of people make when they first start out vlogging, they all automatically want to be a Casey Neistat, right? Or a Logan Paul. Just remember their origin story and how they got popular first, right? And secondly, you wanna start small with a small audience that's focused and then grow out. Fantastic tips. So in a nutshell, that is basically start with with content, even if it's yep. local yep. content. Start yep. with content that's around a passion. Yep. And then once you generate that audience and you yes. have that core group yes. of people that are watching yep. your content, yep. then that's when you can start expanding out into yep. more lifestyle and more general type of vlog stuff where you might want to show yourself brushing your teeth in the morning. Absolutely, right? Like, uh, you know, once you get popular and once you get more famous, you have an audience, they're going to want to see more of the behind the scenes, right? They're going to want to see you talking about the fact that you're going to go to Garlic Festival and how you're going to get prepared for it. Again, that's just 
just one example. There's tons of examples. The point is this, you wanna pick something you're passionate about and really focus around it because most likely what you're passionate about um, is what you have the most fun doing, yeah. right? And the yeah. key thing with vlogs is you wanna look very natural, confident, and look like you're having fun because that's what people wanna see. In fact, I would argue that most people that watch vloggers are watching them because they get this feeling of like, wow, that guy is cool, or this girl really knows what they're talking about, and fun is the first thing that you wanna factor in when creating vlog content. Fantastic, yeah. fantastic. So Benji, if people wanna know more about Benji, they wanna see all the stuff that you're into, mm -hmm. the first place they should start, let me say this real quick. Benji, like I said before, they're from the Video Influencers channel. So if you are not familiar with them yet, I'm gonna have links all over the page to uh, head over and check them out at Video Influencers. They also do the same type of stuff that I do in terms of helping creators grow their channels, helping them grow their income, impact, and influence yes. with online videos. So yeah. first, make sure that you check that out. Definitely go to our Video Influencers channel. Um, you can find all our links, both Sean's and myself. But um, on social media, just go to Benji Man TV and you can follow me. I do have a passion for food, right? So I got a lot of stuff around my family, food, and even fitness. But Video Influencer is a place I think this audience yeah, would really question. be able to connect and um, gain a lot from our content. Well, thank you so hey, much for coming on. You. I really appreciate <laughs> it. And if you want to learn more about growing your channel, making videos, and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.